I'm going ahead and finish sculpting our piece here. And as you can see, we have some wear and tear on both poles. And we also finished up our cloth over here. The other thing I've gone ahead and done is actually create our low poly version. So you can see this. Uh, I might, I can probably take this down some more, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think it's totally necessary. I think originally my low poly started off at 150 polygons. I've gotten it down to 80, which is, you know, a good chunk that's that's been already taken off. So I think this is as good as it is. I'm also taking care of the normals. If I bring up our... A renderer, you'll see that it's nice and smooth. It's not as jagged as you would expect it to be. And that's because I've also taken care of the normals. You can check out another video I created on, on smoothing your normals and, and smoothing groups. Now, what I want to talk to you about is, is what happens when it's time to bake this. Well, if, if you're in Moto and you're not going to another application, you can actually try to just bake these out just straight out and uh, you can do that by grabbing this making sure that they're visible check to see which one this is um, labeled flag pole low so we select our flag pole low and then now we select our pole or our flag I'm going to start off with flag high and then we just preview it and you see that it just bakes it down come in here now you can see our seam over here and this isn't too bad we're also getting residual bakes in uh, the other areas and that's something that you know comes with modeling and knowing that you may have to separate out and bake the items separately so you don't get this problem because that's why we have that and I can do a poll and try that as you can see we're still getting residuals on both uh, some of, that can also be fixed in some cases by taking this value down and that's just a baking distance uh, in our case it's not going to work actually let me try to use this is really bad but let me see if I can bring that fraction down oh there you go alright so to bring it down to a fraction actually works much better uh, in our case so now you're not getting the the, the actual pole projected onto the cloth and the reason for that is just because of the size that I'm working in I, I brought it down to a hundredth of a size so I have to work in fractions if you if you have that set to just straight one then you won't need to work in fractions the way I am and that's just so it's easier for me to import into unity now what happens if you're not baking here in Moto? Well, if you're not baking in Moto, there's a very important step that you have to go through. And that is, <laughs> of course, you can't see if I hide it. And that's freezing your geometry. So when you look at this, it kind of still looks like the original mesh that we had. Uh, and if I go into our painting tab, you'll actually see, I'm going to shift A so I can zoom in. If I click on one of these, you can see that we still have our levels here. Now the problem is, is if I try to do anything with these, it's going to break. Uh, case in point, I'm going to duplicate hierarchy, which will give me the folder and everything in it. I'm going to hide the originals, and I'm going to grab our high quality or, or high um, res versions. And let's say I merge these two, because this will make it easier so I can just bake both at the same time. merge meshes and you'll see that breaks and that happens because now you're trying to take two high-res meshes with two separate um, channels and merge them together and it doesn't work so what you what you'll end up having to do is actually come up to geometry and come here to freeze click on freeze and you can leave the default settings and hit OK Now you'll see this mesh is extremely dense, which is totally fine. Moto can handle this very well. And if you are having problems with Moto handling this, then at this point, what, what I want you to do is, is actually go ahead and you can merge these two now. Or if you want to keep them separate, you can also do that as well. So we can merge these meshes. And you'll notice that it still maintains its quality. 
And now you can export this out and then re-import it back as a reference mesh if you need to use it in the scene and Modal is actually uh, failing on you. But now that we've done this, this actually makes it now suitable to export out to another application. So in our case, we're, we're going to be working in um, Substance, Substance Painter next. I personally really like how Modal works, but if I'm in Substance Painter, if I need to rebake anything, I can do everything right there, uh, as well as paint um, and get some other uh, maps as well that just don't take as much time. Uh, so I might just end up doing all of that in there, but now I have the option. I can either go with a high res here or go with a multi res here. Either way, baking in Moto or in another application, now I have you covered. Ethan Abelard, I'm out.